All right, so you're gonna do the Sadako adept. Hello, I'm actually quite good at her. I think your best add-on right now is gonna be the cabin sign. It's gonna decrease the time it takes to project to your TVs after you do it. Moving around, staying undetected and unpredictable is the biggest strength you have as Sadako. Secondly, I think the ring drawing that spreads corruption to healing is really good because that's the best way to catch people off guard with condemnation and set them in a crisis when they're grabbing tapes when they weren't really planning on it. For your perks, uh, Merciless Storm will be your weakest one. You're not going to be able to rely on it. Basically, when the generator is close, they get a series of skill checks, and then if they miss it or let go, it temporarily blocks the gen. You may get value. They might not be looking for you but the odds of you showing up are slim to none. Your second best perk will be the Floods of Rage, but that's gonna be RNG based depending on where the Scourge hooks are and if you're close enough to utilize them. But your bread and butter perk to get this adept is gonna be Call of Brine. When you smack a gen, which you should be smacking quite a lot, they regress at twice the speed and if people hang on them afterward long enough to get skill checks, you'll get notified so you know you should go interrupt them again. If you want to bring a map offering, I've actually had a lot of good luck on Badham Preschool of all places because the TVs are almost always out of line of sight of the generators, but right now I'm just bringing a chili because I want some more blood points. I'm sorry, I mean a pudding. Yeah, yeah, a pudding. As I load in here as of the making of this video, Sadako is still relatively new. So some survivors may have gotten a tooltip telling them that I'm playing Sadako, or they may be just expecting it because she's all the rage right now, and she is pretty awesome. Survivors can still see you at the start of the match, flickering in and out while you're demanifested, so try to come around wide angles. Okay, they spotted me right away, but looks like we might still be able to get a good hit here. Hit and run is your best friend as Sadako. Unless they make a huge mistake, it doesn't really make sense to uh, commit too hard to a chase. You want to stay unpredictable, so I'm going to demanifest, go back. He won't really know if I'm going to do that or not. TVs are back online. We'll see if we can cut them off. All right. We found a guy. Excellent. And she has some condemnation. You want to stay unpredictable. Remember, we sent an injured guy back this way. There is a TV there we'll pop into if we don't see him very soon. Um, we don't, so... Let's go check to see if they went back to that generator. They did. She's gonna body block, just take the hit. Don't waste time expecting an opening on an injured guy. Now's the time when it may be good to uh, do some call of crime or commit to a chase. All right, now I'll commit a little bit, I think, because he's in a pretty bad spot and getting it down would be really good for us. An early down, so. Normally I wait out the dead hard, but because he went for the window, that kind of told me that he didn't have dead hard. Survivors usually take a weirder pathing if they're going to try to bait out a hit before a window if they're running dead hard. We do have scourge hooks all around us. We're going to try to get some floods of rage value. So we'll smack him up here. Okay, that generator got done right next to us. We'll just interrupt, keep her away from the hook for a minute. A boon went up. Very cool. I think she's expecting us to come. That's fine. We get a hit or a pallet. Just a hit. Okay. We do have a TV by the hook. It's kind of cruel, but uh, because we are running Adept Sadako, we are going to take advantage of that, I'm afraid. So we'll just keep her busy. Keep an eye on our hook. Ooh, we got a generator. Let's get some condemnation by teleporting into the TV. Ooh, or just a, a hit and a down as well. Okay, we're going to slug her. We're going to try to really keep the pressure up. We're going to get rid of it. Yep. We got three people here. You want to keep the pressure on as much as possible. All right, we saw the Floods of Rage. There's an injured person right in there. Pretend we don't know. And back on over to them. Yep, okay. We can catch people pretty good this way. Um, because she is in a bad spot, I think that we maybe catch her if she takes the window here. Watch for Dead Hard. I don't think she has it. Okay, cool. Now we should go back for our original slug before they uh, get pulled off the ground. And then we'll come back for her. We should have kicked that gen, but we're in such a hurry. These guys are going to be pretty ruthless. Boons do remarkably well against the hit and run strategy. Maybe the basement would have been a good play there. Um, I'm almost expecting her to crawl under pallet and for a pallet rescuer to come. So let's change the plans here. Let's smack this gen. And then we'll go back and check on her. Yep, she got pulled up for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, that means we saw some crows. They're still in the area. Um, yep, there they go. Someone's going to stick around for the unhook, I guarantee it. Yep, they did. Now, you want to pursue. I kind of forget who was who here. I think she was the one we didn't hook, but I can't remember. They're both playing Jane, and it's a hard life, you know. 
We lost two generators. She might have decisive. I really can't remember. Well, we're gonna risk it. Well, if that was the girl, she didn't have decisive. So that's nice. More floods of rage. She probably went back to Shaq, working that gen. Let's go uh, say hi to her by using a television set. Yep. And a good grab. She was in the middle of Merciless Storm. That's the perk going off to block the gen. She was doing some skill checks to finish it. I maybe could have slapped her outside on the floods, hooks of rage, but basement camps are pretty good too. I don't remember how long Merciless Storm is going to block that gen, so we'll just give it up. Let's consider ourselves at two gens. Um, I should have looked at auras when they unhooked, but I'm seeing crows, so we can maybe condemn some people. Oh, we found the boon. That might be good to get out of the way, or at least make them reboot. Okay, cool. I wonder if our TV at Shack is back up. It is not. So let's head back there preemptively because I have a feeling they're going to be here. Yep, they made it. We'll go ahead and demanifest. Maybe we can do something here. Get a nice trade going. We are trying to add up. Let's chase her out. I don't want her tapping that gem, but if she does, maybe we can kill her for it. Um, okay. She might have decisive, but having a little extra pressure isn't the worst thing in the world. That's still regressing. So we'll slap him on the hook, camp the gen in the slug, and I'm afraid that's just... Yeah, they put another boon up. I'm afraid that's just our best option right now. Okay, we're down to two, actually two gens now. Yeah, so we definitely want to regress that. Watch for Unbreakable on that girl. I don't think she has it. They've got a slug and a hook, so they really need to... Okay, she's going to go pick the slug up first. We might be able to... Uh, down and re-down one of them. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get the triple slug. That would be great. Mm, we need to watch the hook and the other slug. Yep, okay, yeah. Unfortunately, we have to do this. Alright. We've got a pallet between where I want them to go. Just keep them here for a minute. See what we can do. Yeah, okay. Doing our best, doing our best. Brute force one. She's gonna get picked up soon if I don't do something. They're gonna watch that pallet for a save. So what we'll do is we'll actually hook her on the scourge hook so we can see some nice auras here. The other guys hopefully went back to the boon to heal. Oh, uh, right. No scourge hook value, unfortunately. We'll just pop that again. Now, the odds are good they went back to the same boon. So we'll just head back over there. See if we can catch them unawares. Where, where, where am I? This main building. Huh. Guess I'm lost. <laughs> oh, there it is. Let's teleport in and say hello. Yep. I hear the pitter-patter of little feet, or so I thought. Oh, just a little delay there. Oh, yep, we found him. Cool. Let's see if we can get him with this one. Yep, we can. Good. That's a little standstill trick. They think you're going back around the tile to uh, cut them off at the window. But then, no surprise, you're just sitting there waiting for them to run back into your loving arms. We're not seeing any good skill check notifications in that gen we're regressing. We... Oh, no scourge hooks of rage there. So now we just start patrolling. We're so close to this gen, we're going to save that TV, even though we have the cooldown add-on. We'll just walk over and uh, say, hello. Because there's only two people left, normally you do hit and runs, but we can afford a little bit of committing now. Especially since we're at the L wall, T wall, and we know how to play that tile. Oh! Uh, ah, Alright, perfect. <laughs> we're still in range, so we had really good Scourge Hook RNG all game. Close to finishing. They'll just stick to a gen, and then they'll unhook later. Looks like that may have been the case, but now she's got to let it progress at 200% speed while she goes and finds her friend. So we already checked the other generators. We have no need to use the TVs yet. We can just camp this gen and that hook, kind of. Sorry, I know it's a little bit cutthroat, but you know, you do what you gotta do. And look, yeah, she really wanted to finish that before unhooking her friend. Survivors are so predictable. They're like robots. Once you know how the robots are programmed, you can pretty much guess their every move. Like in this case. And bam. And that's the game. And look, we 
We got the achievement, Adept Onryo. Red ranks across, or red emblems across the board, plenty of blood points. Opponents, they also had the rank resets, and uh, looks like they weren't bringing anything super sweaty, which is weird, because I had nothing but full mambo jumbo sweat builds of dead hards, iron wills, borrowed times, decisive last night. So maybe rank reset also lowers the opponents, maybe it's a time of day, I'm not sure, but there you have it.